Right, so in this little exercise, then all we're going to be doing is just practicing picking on string six twice, doing the palm muted kind of effect, and then going down to string four and playing that once not palm muted, just like we did in the first example where we played uh, the riff from Apple Shampoo. And to start off, if you look at the tab, all we're going to be doing is just uh, picking those notes open, okay? So with this hand, just hold the back of the neck, don't hold down any strings or frets, and uh, the riff will be like. <laughs> Okay, so obviously that's pretty boring. <laughs> you know, what we need to do now is put some notes to it. Now, if you were trying to write a riff, you might think, you know, that's my sort of picking pattern. Now, how do I actually get some notes that are going to sound, uh, you know, sort of good in that pattern? Well, like we saw in the first example when we played the Apple Shampoo, it's basically just power chords, okay? So if you just take a look at the tab now, that's the power chords we're going to be using, okay? So uh, the first shape is like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to play this power chord shape twice. And then we're going to move up to frets 5 and 7. Play that twice. Go down to 1 and 3. Play that twice. And then back up to 3 and 5. Okay, so these positions. So it's... Okay, so they're the power chords we're going to be using. But again, like we saw in Apple Shampoo, it wasn't actually playing the chords. Like... You know, what we was doing was picking... Um, some notes out of those chords, okay? So again, if you look at the tab now, it's going to have updated for you. It's going to go back to the picking pattern where we were going. Okay, but all it's done is replace those open notes with the power chord notes, okay? And if you remember, we're just going to take off our ring finger. So we've just got two fingers on the neck like this. And, and again, it's there then. 5 and 7, and 1 and 3, and back to 3 and 5, so. Okay, so that's a riff, and you know, it's basically started off like, which obviously sounds, you know, pretty rubbish. Uh, put some notes to it, like we've just done, it's taking us, you know, 30 seconds to do. Okay, so that's like a pretty basic but you know, quite decent uh, sounding kind of pop punk riff there then. And there's uh, something else that Blink do then, a lot of the riffs, as we've seen in the other examples, is to use things like your hammer-ons and your pull-offs, okay? So um, if you just take a look at the tab now, all I've done is add a basic hammer-on, okay? So the riff's gonna generally be the same, it's gonna be... Okay, but then when we go down to one and three, what we're gonna do is, uh, sorry, this time I'm using my ring finger, okay, to play the riff. And then what we're going to do is put our middle finger onto fret 2, string 3. And then when we do the... Instead of just playing straight onto fret 3, we're going to play fret 2 and hammer on. Okay, so... Okay, and I've just done that twice, like it says in the tab, alright? So, um, and then to finish off... You know, that pattern again. So, uh, right from the start then, if you look at the tab... Try and follow it along, and uh, you know, play along if you can do it. Here we go. Okay, so you hear the diddle Okay, so you know, hopefully you start to get to see the picture now of you know how Tom writes his little riffs. You know, when you listen to it in the record, they do you know like some of them do sort of sound pretty complex and pretty complicated. And again, you know, when you see him in tab, you know, like if you remember the tab for infused, it was really confusing. But, you know, if you break it down, it's basically just your power chord shapes, and it's just picking different notes out of those power chord shapes, okay? So that little riff that we've just created ourselves, again... And if you didn't know any better, you might think that little riff we've played was actually a Blink-182 riff. Practice your different sort of picking patterns, that uh, kind of thing. Choose some chords. And uh, just pick them basically and try and do some little hammer-ons and pull-offs just to make it sound a little more interesting.